How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well. So I wanted to start a sniper spot series on the channel for a while now, so I decided to start it off with Desert Siege, which has a lot of different angles. Now I know I have a line of sight series on my channel as well, where we speak about some sniper spots, but this one I wanted to specifically talk about different angles you can use with your sniper. Now if there's any I forgot, please do let me know in the comments below. We've gone through the map in sections, so starting with each spawn, working away from popular areas, and just talking about the different kinds for certain spots and where you may expect to find a sniper as well now if you want to use this in multiplayer or in ranked play this should help you just sort of making you aware of some of the common spots you may find people if you're new to sniping or maybe you want to get into it or maybe you are a good sniper and just need to do your memory refreshing on some of these spots but i do hope you enjoy nonetheless if you do don't forget to leave a rate and subscribe and we'll get right into the video now so let's go so from this side of the map as we all know you would have to rush here off the start of spawn especially on s and d so you can come up to these little head glitches on the, each wall like this it's just worth noting these ones this is one of my favorite ones because you've got a little bit of room to play with you know you can peek to the right a little bit and then of course very common one is to come around the outside here and you can actually head glitch just over that and you can sort of edge your way out as you work across and then a cool little spot is actually behind this tree so you can actually come behind the barbed wire and use this as a bit of cover. Now, you don't have the best cover behind it, but they're not always going to look. Because obviously, normally, if you go out behind the barbed wire, then you're going to be out of zone. But, you know, you can actually sort of play a nice little angle. And then this little uh, barricade here, the sandbags, this can be a nice little spot where you can head glitch straight through like that. And catch anybody coming to that AA gun spot. And obviously, you can sort of peek up behind it. Just cool spots that might, you know, catch your opponents off guard when you're playing. And another cool spot that I like to use as well sometimes, just to catch them off guard, is if you come up to this fence right here, in line with that green barrel, then you can actually shoot out the fence. So, like so. Well, I've already shot it out, basically. But you can just sort of glitch straight through this. And it's possible to do this in multiple places on this fence. You know, you can make your own sort of cover, if that makes sense. Just keep them guessing, really. They might see the red dot above you, but you should be able to take them out before they get a chance to take you out. Then another nice spot as well. If you come up to this truck, obviously you can use it as a nice little head glitch. But if you lie down, you can get a very nice spot onto that AA gun spot, which we will cover a little bit later on. But it's just worth noting that you can actually do this, and you're going to be able to take them out. And they're not always going to be looking up here, because you know for them, they've got to be looking right towards the truck. You never know, they may be a good sniper and they might use it. And then also, just an honourable mention really, you can use these ruins, just, you know, there's multiple angles you can get. If you can edge your way up to this wall like that, then you can get a nice spot through the slit in the wall. And if you come to this side as well, you can get a nice little head glitch over the wall. But yeah, obviously that's sort of diverse, you can do lots of things with that one. A nice spot as well, if you rush up pretty fast to B, obviously you may get enemies pushing there. But you can actually hop onto this, see straight through towards that far truck where you know the enemies are going to be, and you'll be able to take out the enemy snipers. And if you position yourself right, you know, you can make multiple sort of lines of sight with this one as well. You know, there's lots of different diverse covers on this game, which I really like. You know, you could push up really far like this and hold down that far map. So, as we make our way back towards this spawn area here, if you hop onto this truck, onto the bonnet, then you are actually going to be able to get a nice line of sight on that back AA gun. Now this is a target because a lot of the times you will get people pushing around there. As you all know, I've mentioned it quite a few times in this video already. And obviously, common spot, you know, you can come up to this, watch down that whole B side of the map, or you could push across through here, and you can get a nice head glitch of down that right side of the map by all the trains, and you will probably find a sniper somewhere around this area, or if you aim that top train there, and then also you can sort of edge your way out onto the side and get a little bit more of a field of view. And then a very cool spot that I like to use down here that you see a lot of the pros using is if you sort of get on top of this train. I failed the jump there, but you can get up on it from the other side as well. But if you come up onto the top of it, then you can actually look straight through this gap in the train. Keep an eye on that A-bomb. Maybe you plant it down. Watch from here with a sniper. And obviously you can move it in and out as well. Just be warned of snipers sitting up top somewhere. 
And if you come a little bit further back down, you can have a nice, obviously this is only in specific scenarios, but you can watch that mid window just there and you'll be able to take them out from here as well pretty nicely. So mid building is going to have quite a few angles you can play, especially with a sniper. Obviously, sometimes the SMGs are going to be pushing straight up, so just bear that in mind. But if you come up to this edge, you're going to get a cool little spot over that sort of right side of the map, similar to the spot from there. This one's just a little bit closer, and you can make your way across this ledge and just keep an eye on anybody pushing up towards those trenches down that left side there. And then if you come inside, obviously you can come up to this, you know, shoot it out, watch over their spawn if you can get here fast enough. And if you come to the left side here, shoot out a bit there and you will get snipers sat up on that which we will cover just here in a second when we get to that side of the map it's just worth noting you can do that and then obviously you know these ones are pretty common but it's worth noting them you know you can shoot out any of these sort of wooden panels get an angle on any side of the map really and then you can come up to this get a cool little angle past this plant pot onto that top there this one is a little bit risky but it's just worth mentioning that you can come out onto this ledge if you know somebody's in that far trench where you could watch these steps and just hold that angle there obviously a little bit more closer range and aggressive of a spot so just bear that in mind but it's just worth mentioning pretty much and then of course if you come down here and you shoot out some of this or just break it all together then you are going to get a nice angle on that back left side of the map and if you're coming from the opposite side you will be able to get an angle on that tower on the right and also the common head spot bots or head glitches that I showed you before so yeah you can get enemies from here now from the opposite spawn so some of these spots I've mentioned already but let's look at them from this side so you can come up to this wall this is going to be a very common head glitch you know even if you just get some information and you can hold the angles you know where the enemy is going to be you come underneath this truck which is a pretty nice one and you can look over the head glitches from before and actually if you come onto this box just to the right here you're going to be able to look down that whole right side of the map and just get a little bit of a different angle because they're probably going to be expecting you on one of these ones. And if you push up a little bit further, you can actually make a few different plays off of this truck. So you obviously you can lie down by it like this and angle it up nicely through there. Or you can sort of peek through here to that right side of the map. Or you can just sort of make your own little head glitch like this and take them out. You're a little bit closer there so it might be easier to shoot them. That's all dependent on your skill. If you come down the right side, we've mentioned this AA gun a few times, but here it is. This is a very nice head glitch off this to look down that right side of that little tower down there. You can also see the head glitches off this. And then, as you can see, there's the truck spot from before. So you'd see the enemy underneath there, but, you know, it's going to be quite a hard one. Or you can just rush here, watch down that B-bomb if it's search, and just watch enemy push in from there. And then, just an honourable mention, really, is the trenches. You know, you can sort of play little headies like this if you push up. Obviously, you will be a little bit exposed from this side, but you might just be able to hold that angle. There's a few different ways you can play that. And then this is a spot that I mentioned last video when I went over some of the pro player spots. Basically, you can play these barrels, and you can lie down, and you can get a nice little angles through them. And you can also do it with this one, where you can see that right side of that tower, if you can get here fast enough, this might be perfect if you catch somebody just creeping around that corner like that. And you can just do it with each of the barrels. You can watch those steps. You can get a bomb down on B, watch over it with this very nice spot. Now, this left side of this far spawn here, obviously this is going to be one of the most common spots. Probably one of the best as well. You can play this ledge, you know, and you can hold down this whole left side of the map. You can also come up here, watch into mid-building through the windows I showed you before. You can kind of see down towards the ruins as well, so it's worth knowing that's the good line of sight. If you want a little bit more cover, you could come underneath and lie down and just watch that train there, watch anybody's pushes. And you see a few of the pros also just coming straight out onto this and challenging that top part just up there. Obviously, you need to be confident in your skill for this one because you don't have a lot of cover. You know, maybe get the kill and push off. And then another cool one are these little barrels. So you can use these to peek up into mid building. We've also got this barrel on the outside, so you can use it as a little bit of cover to look down towards that far spawn building and just watch anybody crossing over to that A bomb site as well. And then another cool little spot that I like to use, if you come out to this train here, it may take some jumping up to. I 
you might have to actually jump onto this train to get onto it. But you can get onto it. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I like cover that's on a slant like this because you can sort of peek in and out quite nicely. You can use this as a head glitch for that. Watch over that A-bomb. Counter that far train, which I mentioned before, which that is sort of the spot you'd see somebody peek in. So it's worth noting. And you can pretty much see a lot of the sort of map from here. You can hop up on this, watch down those mid-steps. So yeah, it's going to do it for those ones. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what video or what map you want to see next inside of this series. We're closing in on that thousand subs now, as I keep saying every video, which is just insane to me. I believe we're only about 20 subs off at this point when I'm recording this. So we'll see what happens within this week or next week as well. But yeah, let me know which sort of content you'd like to see from me. If there's any new series or new videos you want to see me cover specifically, please let me know in the comments down below. I really do appreciate all the feedback and all the ratings and sort of support lately as well. So thank you all for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you all have a good day. I'll see you all in the next one.